Welcome to the WB Mason Coaches Report. I'm here with Hofstra men's soccer head coach Richard Nuttall for our final men's soccer WB Mason report of the season. Coach, how are you today? Good, thank you. Yourself? I'm good, thank good. you. Uh, the Pride lost to William & Mary 4-1 in the CAA quarterfinals last weekend. Coach, let's just start with your assessment of that game. Obviously a disappointing result, but what did you see that day? Yeah, disappointing result. Great game. I think the fans were entertained. Um, I think you know, I was pleased with us going forward and creating chances. I was pleased with the way we, we played going forward and obviously not defensively. And I, I think the main difference was uh, uh, the guy Bustamante who's, you know, professional calibre and uh, he was just class on the day and he was four chances, four goals and we were probably more chances than uh, one goal, you know, and uh, I think we outshot him 18 to 10, which showed that we were significantly in the game, but when it all came down to it, Bustamante was class and uh, he was the difference between the two teams, so, and they deservedly won the game. Um, so from that, Perspective, we, we've nothing to complain about. We just, we just rule the missed chances. I think. Let's talk about kind of the season as a whole. Um, started to get more wins towards the end of the season. Yeah. Finished an even five hundred. Just your overall assessment of the season from start to finish. Yeah, we had a difficult pre-season with injuries, and we got off to a little bit of a, a slow start, apart from the Penn State victory. But we're obviously playing class teams. I think. Uh, in our six losses, most have come to uh, top 50 opponents, you know, and even I earned that. But uh, playing these top class teams, it really, I think, prepares you well for the uh, for the future of the conference. And uh, I'm, I'm proud we, 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 you know, even though our record wasn't good, we were playing good soccer. And eventually we came through where we uh, got quite a few victories late. Only lost one game in the regular season, which we did last year as well. And I'm proud of that fact. So. Uh, it, it turned out the boys worked hard and I, I was pleased with their mindset and how they kept going and they kept grinding away and the, the victories came and uh, you know even, even to say we've made the playoffs and again for four years in a row for this senior class I'm, I'm really proud of that. You talked about the caliber of your non-conference schedule is that something that you hope to continue to do in the next couple of years? Well, it's something I've got to assess. I think it might have been a touch too hard and a little bit too much travelling this year in search of RPI games and top teams. But uh, ne next year is going to be toned down a little bit, but will it, it will include some qual top quality teams. And uh, you know, we've got to finalise the schedule. But we're always looking to play good opponents and uh, hopefully set ourselves up for the CAA the re in the remainder of the year. So it, it's. Uh, you know, I think you've got to make sure that you, you, you suit your program at the time with the schedule and, and uh, this year was definitely difficult. Talk about conference play, uh, Hofstra was not the only team with a number of draws in conference yeah. play. It was very tight at the top of the table yeah. this year. What is your assessment of the league as a whole this season? Yeah, I think overall slightly down on previous years in my opinion, but the parity was uh, very much, you know, even amongst the top six, seven, eight teams, and uh, even Delaware, I think, who finished seventh, could have finished second or first with a couple of good results, you know. So um, uh, the quality is very good. The uh, I think that you know the remaining four teams are, are probably deserve to be there, and I'm happy for them. And uh, good luck this uh, this weekend. But the the, the CA is very very good, and I, I'm proud to be part of it. Who stood out to you on your team this year? Who stood out? Um, I think Alex Ashton had a good season overall, the goalkeeper. I think incoming uh, Marcus, George, the two centre backs had, had uh, did well, and then I think it was just very much uh, uh, everybody um, having a, a good season. I think Oscar Ramsey had a great last six or seven games. He got over his injuries and uh, he was ill a little part of the season, so he came on good late. And then just I was pleased with everybody's effort from there on, you know. The Pride wrapped up its season with a 6-6-6 six, six, and six record. And this has been the WB Mason Coaches Report with Hofstra Men's Soccer Head Coach Richard Nuttall. Thank you for joining us all season long, Coach. Thank you, man.